So welcome today for another episode of uh, DX Talks with Rami Kadi, uh, who is entering into the NFT and really disrupting the world of NFTs, especially by using the Cardano blockchain. So we're going to be discovering more about what's happening, what's his collection, what's his technical aspect of uh, Cardano, and why he chose Cardano, and the other things that goes with that NFT and the space and the hype of yourself. Rami Kadhi, a fashion designer specialized in uh, Nouvelle Couture. It's been 10 years that I have my brand and 20 days that I have my NFT collection. <laughs> 20 days, yeah. You yeah. were minting, I think, the second or the third, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, exactly. Great, exactly. The question is first, why NFTs? Uh, why not? Because I, the brand and the DNA of the brand was, uh, was always related to fashion and technology. So we were the first designers who did uh, glow-in-the-dark dresses in the Middle East. We were the first designer who did cyber shows before even Corona started. Uh, the first designer who introduced uh, Pl uh, recycled plastic uh, 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 dresses and much, much more. And since my team is uh, all young people and I'm the oldest in my team, <laughs> and we're always, you know, trying to see what's uh, new. And we've been hearing about crypto for the past three years, and we were all interested in that. And we thought it's, it was the right time to launch our NFT collection as a designer. Yeah, so I think the team, the spirit, uh, the, the vibe exactly. and experimentation is, I think, is one of the major core of, of, of Rami Kadi by himself as a brand. Exactly. So uh, now let's jump into the technicalities of it. I know that you went on a blockchain, which is Cardano, using ADA. Everybody is going into uh, Ethereum. Ethereum, yes. And we understand the problems in Ethereum. Was it the gas fees? Was it the technology? Uh, why Cardano? Why that belief in Cardano? What I'm, made me choose it? Exactly. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna talk about other blockchains that are maybe very successful or not. I'm gonna talk about Cardano because I chose Cardano uh, for many reasons. Before going into NFTs, we started understanding what is crypto, and we started uh, researching on uh, the projects, uh, the projects and the good and bads of each and every project. And we really believed in the, in the, ADA, in the ADA token. Plus, uh, because I'm a, a UNEP Goodwill uh, Ambassador for Sustainable Fashion, uh, we believed that Cardano blockchain was the best for us. And uh, the, this blockchain represents the identity of the brand and, and how we work and our ethics in work. Because we cannot be, uh, I cannot be a designer that don't, uh, that, an eco-friendly designer and that don't use animal fur or we use ethically sourced uh, feathers. Uh, we try to recycle everything we have and then uh, work with a blockchain that takes a lot of energy and lots of gas. So great. So as a social responsibility that, that, also. that doesn't mean we might do uh, collabs with other uh, with other blockchains Projects. in the future but as a start and as uh, initial, uh, initial uh, uh, initiative to to, 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 to mark our uh, history we wanted to start with Cardano. that's great you know having the corporate social responsibilities and SDGs integrated in your mission is is something I think everybody should should follow uh, you know, it's amazing, you know, how technology is really moving, especially on the NFTs yeah. uh, today. What are you other, what are you experimenting in other things uh, into that space also? Uh, first of all, NFTs were very new to us. So uh, I understood NFTs, but I didn't know how to create the NFTs. So for example, if I have created this piece of art, how would I uh, mint it or in which marketplace should I place it or how to buy it and sell it. So we tried to understand this and I hired a whole team for this uh, purpose because uh, we didn't want to do things uh, in a wrong way. You know, in this industry, there is lots of scams and uh, fake, uh, fake people. Fake who, people. Yeah. Yeah. You a know, lot of so, fraud. A lot of frauds, exactly. So. 
Uh, we hired a team for that and uh, our future plans now is uh, first of all to sell our NFTs and uh, to have uh, a land in Pavia. This is uh, our uh, the main uh, metaverse, okay. uh, uh, the main metaverse in, in Cardano and to have our shop there and to start uh, moving on with, uh, with this project. Regarding our uh, last question with Rami, uh, we want to understand uh, what is one advice you give or you want to give for other fashion designers in the space into entering the space of NFTs or being an eco-friendly also kind of a message uh, that you were trying to portray always in your was it in your collection brand you know mission I think for the designers or for any artist that wants to enter uh, this world or this new uh, virtual world if, if we can say is to know what they're doing and not to follow anyone's uh, rules or anyone's steps because you see a lot as we said you hear lots of uh, wrong information you can do those uh, this collection and you will sell out in a day and then you'll become a millionaire and then you can yeah, they're following the millionaires now. exactly now you should know what is your dna and why you're successful uh, what, what is your DNA? Why, why were you successful in your couture world and then transmit the same message into NFTs? And this is why you will become successful in doing your NFTs. And this is who you are. So you shouldn't have two different identities. Those are two parallel words and they should remain parallel with your identity. Great. One bonus question. Surprise. <laughs> uh, Rami, Today you are designing uh, your collection. I yes, it's named Lucid. Lucid algorithms. Lucid algorithms. Yes, there was. Why? What? Why the name? One, and how people will they be able to utilize it in the metaverse? Okay, uh, the name of Lucid algorithms is because we have created this collection with the help of an algorithm. Okay. So I have, uh, I, I feed the computer uh, the uh, pa the palette, the couleur that, that I wanted. Okay. Uh, the patterns, my drawings, my illustrations, uh, the photos that I have, nice. textures, everything I like, uh, glitter, everything I, 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 I really like. And then with the help of this algorithm, we have created the NFT collection. In the metaverse, we are now trying to create uh, 3D avatars that walks. Uh, and for the holders of these NFTs, we will be able to create like garments it could be a hoodie it could be a dress it could be a cap it can be earphones and there is a lot a lot a lot a lot of possibilities while creating it because we can have like wings or we can have fire or uh, or the pattern can be moving around you so it's uh, it's, it's a life project I think. exactly and so you can utilize it in a very very interesting exactly and uh, of course the holders can uh, they will have access to all our events in the future, in real life and in the metaverse. Or if it's a lady or a couture client and she likes this pattern, she has to buy this NFT so she can be so she can be able to customize her own physical couture. Piece. Okay. Okay. So it goes also beyond the virtual. It goes also on the of course, well. because nice. we have our community in couture, yeah. and uh, we shouldn't forget about about. It. <laughs> Thank you. One last word to our audience. One last word for uh, your audience is to uh, follow us on all our platforms so you can keep uh, updated with all our future projects. At Remy Cody, right? Yes. Cheers. <laughs>